friends in this video we are going to see what is mean by unitary method and how to use unitary method in money so for that i am going to share my presentation so what is mean by actually unitary method means uh, let us first of all uh, see some examples uh, if a dozen of apple cost you rupees 168 what will be the cost of eight apples then if 15 liters of oil cost you rupees 1455 what will be the cost of 7 liter of oil then if nine chop boxes cost you rupees 585 how many chop boxes can be bought in 845 rupees now how to find out these values for that you should know what is mean by unitary method in money now as the name indicates unitary method unit means one one piece one quantity unit quantity so in the unitary method we are first of all going to find the cost of one atom and the cost of many atoms are given to find the cost of one atom from the when the cost of many atoms is given we are going to divide the given amount by the number of pieces and yes we will get the cost of one atom and for example we are going to see if actually uh, suppose one find the cost of one eraser if the cost of Fall erasers is given as thirty six rupees. So find the cost of one eraser. We are going to be divide the total cost of fall erasers by the quantity of the erasers. That is thirty six upon twelve. So we find the cost of one eraser being three rupees. Now, if the cost of one eraser we find out three rupees, then we can find the cost of as many as erasers we want. So. to find the cost of many erasers we are actually going to multiply the uh, cost of one with the given number uh, we are going to take the same example of eraser over here now we have to find out the cost of 18 erasers when the cost of one eraser is given as 3 rupees or initially we have already find out that the cost of one eraser is 3 rupees and if i say to find the cost of 18 erasers then we are going to multiply 3 with 18 so that we will get 54 as a cost of 18 erasers well so so this method of finding the cost of one unit from the cost of many unit and then finding the cost of many unit by multiplication is known as unitary method we'll see few examples with this Three pens cost you rupees thirty-nine. Find the cost of one dozen pen. Now, what is the cost of three pens? It is thirty-nine rupees. Uh, to find the cost of one pen, we are going to divide thirty-nine by the quantity of pens. That is three. And yes, we got the price as thirteen rupees. And to find the cost of one dozen pen, we are going to multiply the cost of one with twelve, so that we are getting rupees one fifty-six as the cost of one dozen pens. Now. One more example: the cost of 25 notebooks is uh, rupees 525. Uh, how many notebooks you can buy in 1575 rupees? Now, here uh, you have given 1575 rupees, and you have to find out how many notebooks you can buy. Uh, but you don't know what is the cost of one. So first of all, we'll find the cost of one notebook. When the cost of 25 notebooks is given as 525 by dividing. This 525 by number of notebooks that is 25, and we get the cost as of one notebook as 21 rupees. Once we got the cost of one notebook, we can find how many notebooks that can be bought in 1575 by dividing the amount you are having with the cost of one. Take an example of uh, say 10 apples. 10 apples cost you rupees 100. 10 apples cost you rupees 100 how many apples you can buy in 150 rupees now for that we are going to find that the cost of one apple is going to 100 divided by 10 that is 10 rupees cost of one apple and in 150 rupees you know that we can buy 15 apples in the same way we are going to divide the total amount we are having that is 1575 by the price of one notebook and yes we get uh, 75 notebooks that we can buy in 1500 So these are the few examples of unitary method in money. In the next video, we'll see few examples and where we can use the unitary method for the comparison purposes. Till then, goodbye.